Right, so we've got some more new crisps to try today, and here we have these new Pringles uh, French style steak fritters flavoured crisps. They are part of the Passport flavours range that they've been doing for a few years now. They've uh, done quite a few different unique flavours, and I reviewed pretty much all of them on the channel, I think. Um, and yeah, these are new. Make sure you check out the other ones afterwards. But yeah, very interesting French style steak fritters. So I would imagine it's going, going to be mostly a beefy flavour with a, maybe a bit of seasoning in them. I can't imagine them tasting like fries. So it would be mostly beef flavoured, I think. Uh, I picked these up in Poundland. They were £2. But most places do stock the Passport flavours range at one point of an, or one point of another. Uh, usually like B&M, whole bargains and stuff, but this is the first time I'd seen them, so whether they're new or not, uh, I don't know. But I hadn't had them before. So we'll get them open and we'll give them a go. These were meant to be reviewed a good few days ago, <clears throat> and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. They uh, smell a bit beefy, but they don't... They kind of just smell like a beef and onion flavour. So yeah. I'm a bit late doing these. Kind of a mix of my cupboards were full of half autumn crisps and also I've got a bit of a cough and I don't really want to be spluttering uh, French fries, uh, French style, what they call again? French style steak fritters all over the camera. But let's see how they taste. Just your normal Pringle shape as you would expect, not loads of seasoning on. That is weird. They've got this. I have no idea what that flavor is. You've got the beef, but the second you put it in your mouth, you have this strong hit of I don't even know what it is. It doesn't taste like any seasoning that you normally get on crisps or any edible food. What's meant to be on here? Parsley, thyme, pepper. Nothing out of the ordinary. But that's such a strange, unpleasant flavour. The actual meat flavour, it, it's quite nice. It's, um, like I say, like, you know, more, like steak and onion flavoured crisp, kind of like that. But there's just this overriding, powerful, awful flavour in there. I don't know if, if it's like a chemical, one of these many chemicals that they put in that has just turned the flavour upside down. But that's really disappointing because the vast majority of this range, the Passport flavours range, are really nice. We've found some absolutely cracking ones. And this is a bit of a miss. Actually, it's very much a miss. So I'm not a fan. Pringles, you've let us down. I definitely wouldn't recommend them. But if anyone has already tried them, please let us know what on earth you think that flavour is because it doesn't taste like anything that I've ever had on a steak and french fries before. Or any crisp or any food whatsoever. It's just lingering, it's... <clears throat> I'll probably be able to eat them, they're not completely inedible, but I'm not gonna enjoy them. I'll be choking them down. So, yeah, if you've had previous experience of this,
call this helpline and we'll be able to help you out. Right, so we'll give these a rating. It's going to be low. Um, so for a rating of 100 for these French style steak fritters flavoured Pringles, we'll give them a 19 out of 100. It feels like we've had quite a lot of bad crisps on the channel recently. And it's not just me being picky, I just think, I don't know. It's just a few bad flavours being released at the moment. And, um, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Hopefully my next few that I review are good, because whilst I quite enjoy getting the disgusting crisps, because always quite fun to review, it's a bit disappointing when you get ones that you think will be nice and they end up being rubbish. But fingers crossed that things start to improve. But for now, rubbish, don't recommend. And there's plenty more of the Pringles flavors out there that you can enjoy, but not these ones.